Hey guys, Jano Zero. How you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land, whatever part of the world that you are in. I know the light is uh, bad. Sorry about that. Uh, just using my kitchen lights. It's uh, real cloudy outside, so we're doing inside stuff, which is we're gonna make sauerkraut today. So got a uh, three. They're small, medium-ish, ish heads of cabbage that we uh, just just picked out of the garden. We give them a thorough rinsing and a good washing. Um, our cabbage had a hard time. We had uh, trouble with cabbage worms that kept eating them. And I hate to use any kind of pesticide, so we just went out there every day and tried to pluck them off and keep them going that way. And uh, it seems to be working okay. We got some decent heads of cabbage here. We still got some out there that we're gonna be using. So anyway, I got, got my knife. I got a bowl to put the shredded cabbage in. Over here, I got my lids. Uh, warming up in some water and I got my jars boiling in here because we're going to uh, can it after we make it. Now what you're going to need is some um, vinegar. You're going to need some uh, salt. I use regular salt since we're going to be canning it. Uh, I don't use the uh, iodized salt and you're going to need some sugar but we'll get to that here in a little bit. First step is to uh, cut and shred up your cabbage uh, like you would for a coleslaw or I don't know sauerkraut. <laughs> so, let me get this cut up and I'll get right back with you in a little bit. All right, so all I'm going to do is, like you see, I'm going to cut it in half. Cut it in half, then I'm going to cut it into quarters like this. And then I'm just going to lay it on its side once I get the bug out of there. I'm going to lay it like this and just start taking my knife and cutting it into shreds. Just like this here. When I get to the end, I'll just take that end, turn it over, and cut it into shreds like that. So that way you have nice shredded cabbage to go into your sauerkraut. When you get down to the core, see there's chunks of core like that. Just cut that core right off. And then we save all these pieces here for animal feed. The goats, and the, if you have hogs, the hogs will love it. So there you go, we're just shredding it up like this, uh, and we're going to shred all these, these heads up. Any of these big large pieces, I'll just take and run a knife through them again, so that we have small, uh, consistent pieces. So there you have it. So once I get all this shredded up, we'll be right back. Okay guys, one thing I forgot to mention is I also have a uh, stock pot here with boiling water in it. Uh, boil up some water. And we've got our lids, of course. All right, so the next step is, now that we've got our jars boiled and sanitized, is we are going to pack these suckers full of cabbage. And I mean pack. I'm going to get as much in these jars as I can. Don't be shy. You're not going to hurt it because it's cabbage. I take my spoon. Try to use plastic or rubber if you can, uh, metal. If you use metal utensils, you will uh, uh, take a chance on chipping or cracking your jars. That's uh, stuff that I've learned through uh, a lot of the comments that I get uh, from people who are way better at canning and making stuff than I will ever be. Um, so thank you. And again, that's we learn as we go and we share information. And, uh, and it's what it's all about. It's all about learning and working together as a community to make everybody's lives happier and more productive. But like I say, I'm going to cram it as much as I can get into this jar. I'm going to, I'm going to pack it down because uh, it will cook way down whenever, whenever you can it. And it is sauerkraut. You don't necessarily have to can it. I'm going to can it and seal the jars up. Um, some of the old timers that make it this way say that you can just uh, put the ingredients in the jar and let it sit on the shelf for about a month and uh, it'll work but I want to make sure that I get a seal. Uh, we are in the house doing this because we are in what they call the dog days of summer and it's really hot and really humid and I'm going to can them inside with the air conditioner going to make sure that I get a seal on my jars uh, rather than taking a chance on losing a batch because it didn't it didn't seal. So cramming the jars full of cabbage. The 
and you don't want the, the you don't want the cabbage to touch the bottom of the lid of the jar though. So this is about as deep as I'm going to go uh, with this one here. Okay. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt right on top. One teaspoon of regular sugar right on top. One teaspoon of vinegar. Short. I'm using distilled white vinegar is what I'm using. And now I'm going to put the foil back on and I'm going to label in the rest of it. Uh, this boiling hot water just with a ladle, ladle it right in there. And you'll see that the, uh, the sugar and the salt will dissolve and go right down into the mix. All right, we got a timer going off. We got a lot going on in here today. We're trying to get everything from the garden put up. So I will fill this up with water to the neck or so of the jar, about right there. Now I will wipe off the ring. Wipe it off real good as you do when you're canning anything else. Dig out a lid. Put your lid on there. Put your ring on there. There you go. It's ready to go into the canner or you can just set it on the shelf. Actually I'm going to take the lid off and bubble it a little bit. I see some bubbles in there. I'm just going to take my little handy dandy spatula here get some of them bubbles out and pack it down in there again. There you go. You can set this right on the shelf in your pantry in about a month or so. It'll be sauerkraut. Me, I'm going to go ahead and can it. Uh, I'll just water bath can this uh, for about 20 minutes and make sure it's good and sealed and then I will set it in the pantry uh, for you know three four weeks and then it'll be ready to go. So in about a month or so we will see what this is like and we'll do a video when we're using it with some uh, awesome uh, sausage, smoked sausage or polar sausage, something like that. We'll get it out and we'll do it like that. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to share this quick and easy way to make sauerkraut. This is how I have to do it because I don't have one of the big crocks and a press and all that kind of stuff to make it the, uh, uh, you know, the old fashioned traditional way. So this here works. Uh, this is something else that I learned from the old timers. And if I can do it, you can do it. Get you a couple heads of cabbage and make it up. Uh, I would say that uh, these two heads of cabbage that I got is going to make about four quart jars. So I'm going to go ahead and, and chop up that last one there and that should give me my seven to run a whole batch in the canner. Seven jars and uh, like I said, hope this helps and give it a shot. Y'all thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. The end. Buzz buzz. The end.